When OU was constructed in the 1950s, it was in the middle of, of the Cold War. It was in the mid-1950s, right after the Soviet invasion of Hungary in 1956. There were a lot of tensions between the Soviets and the, the U.S., and there were real fears of an open conflict, including use of nuclear weapons. So both sides, both the Soviets and the U.S., began making buildings or institutions that included bomb shelters or other sorts of um, spaces where people could congregate in case of a nuclear attack. But they're spacious enough that they could be used for uh, transportation in between buildings. You could create study areas or media centers or computer centers or galleries or, or uh, small uh, areas to, for food or, or relaxation, lounges or whatnot. Again, they were designed to accommodate you know, several thousand people for potentially weeks at a time. So you have a lot of space down there that could be utilized in a variety of means um, and could be even expanded upon to build bigger facilities. So with classroom space at a premium on campus, of course, another use of these tunnels might be to convert them into space that where classes could be taught. And I know there's been some discussion amongst, for example, the English department for using these classes, particularly to discuss underground rioters or something of this sort. I would be interested perhaps in using this, this, this space um, to vividly illustrate some dynamics of the actual Cold War uh, experience.